shout out to the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're putting together a boy band out there. My God. They already bought a title two fucking years ago, right? They buy LeBron because they know that he's like a fucking, he's like a, a, what do you call it? That's like a cornerstone. And then all the fucking free agents will f- flutter over to him like a moth to a light. Then they get Anthony Davis, right? Fuck New Orleans. Those people, they don't, they don't deserve anything, do they? It's just New Orleans. They're just Americans. Why should they enjoy an NBA title? Why should they have Anthony Davis and Zion? Right? Fuck it. Go ahead. See ya. He goes to there and they buy a fucking title. Um, oh, my God. I was fucking teasing Laker fans on Twitter. Jesus Christ. And then they fucking, uh, they all took the bait. And none of them could defend them buying a title. All they kept saying, you mad, bro? Don't be sad. Why you hating? That's the intellect of a Laker fan. But what else are they going to say? They should just admit it. Yeah, we're buying titles. <laughs> Why? I do it. We bought one in 2008. The Celtics bought a fucking title. That was a fucking pile-on championship. There you go. And we, and, but you know what? We only, we only need two. We only needed two free agents. Unlike these cunts. Then they had uh, fucking, uh, what's his face? Tim Witherspoon there. Uh, Westbrook. And they had him, right? And they go, here we go again. And then I don't know what. I guess they were watching an episode of the Golden Girls, so they they signed fucking Carmelo Anthony. All right. Oh, oh my God, he's he's an all defensive player. <laughs> okay. Um, and then today they got for like the third fucking time Dwight Howard. I think the Lakers are just for some reason it just bothered them that this fucking Adonis could not win a ring with them. They just have to fucking get this guy a goddamn ring. Um, but that is, you know, I guess it's, it's consistent with the Lakers. They've always bought other people's stars. It's just what they do. It's what they do. They're Mount Rushmore. They always talk about all the great centers, centers in fucking LA Laker history. And none of them, none of them, unless you go back to world war two and find the white guy, George Mike, and, and that was in Minneapolis, but there's not one hall of fame center in the Los Angeles Lakers history that was a drafted Los Angeles Laker. They cannot pick a fucking center to save their fucking lives. So they got to take out the checkbook and buy Wilt and buy Kareem and buy Shaq and buy Anthony Davis. They just got to buy the guys. Ugh. Which I guess is fine because that's how they fucking do it now. But like for them to just sit there, oh, you know, Kobe's got five titles. He's only one behind fucking... Jordan, it's like Jordan didn't get a boatload of free agent help every fucking year. It's not the same thing. You can say he's got five and Jordan has six, but don't act like it's the same level of difficulty because it isn't. It isn't. Jordan did not play in a fucking era where everybody was friends and sat on a fucking boat and just, hey, let's all jump on this team. And we'll win a title. Oh, okay. Hey, now everybody, we're jumping on this team. I don't know. I'm just going to keep saying it because he's fucking Laker. It drives him fucking bananas. <laughs> uh, if it wasn't for the rest of the league drafting the right people and developing the talent, the Lakers could never win a title. <laughs> um, yeah. And I love these Laker fans that try to act like the Kobe Shaq era it wasn't a pylon t- fucking team with Phil Jackson. And you can totally tell it was a pylon team because when Shaq got sick of Kobe, he goes, all right, fuck you. I'll go play with Dwayne Wade. And then they won. Bam. I can win with you or I can win with you. I'll either pile on here or I'll fucking pile on there. Um, all right. I'm done with that shit. Um, sorry. I am just extra cunty today. I'm just a little tired. That's all it is. I don't give a shit about the Lakers. I just, I just really like stirring them up because... I've discovered that so few of them can even talk the game. And I don't even know that much about basketball, but like all they have is why you mad? Why you crying? Why you hating? That's all they can say. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, they're dumb. They're just dumb. Um, anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. I don't need this. Why am I doing this? You don't provoke Los Angeles fans. They can't talk the game, so then they get scared and then they stab you. You know, they want to win the argument. Um, all right. You know, I keep trying I keep trying to stop bitching about, you know, 
over the years, the Golden State Warriors with KD, the Brooklyn Nets, the fucking Lakers every other year, and all of that shit. I, I'm, I, I know you guys are sick of me. I'm getting sick of talking about it, but like, it just drives me nuts because I'll put on ESPN thinking this has got to be finally. They added too many free agents, finally, and ESPN, somebody's going to say something, and they never do. They just act like it isn't happening. They act like it's good for the fucking league. I guess it's good for them. Maybe because people watch pylon teams. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe they're actually better ratings. I don't know. Maybe it's got. It always comes down to money. But uh, I don't know. I just find them excruciatingly boring, and I don't like watching them. And I just. I think they're bullshit championships. They just are. All right. Grow a dick and lead a team instead of fucking buying up everybody that you would have had to lead them past. They're now on your fucking team. It's just fucking. It's uh, that's not. It's not sports. What is this, fucking Ocean's Eleven, the, the fucking basketball team? All right, I'm done. Sorry, I'm getting going again. Dude, me bitching about the fucking NBA pylon teams, it's like the end of Lenny Bruce's career when he stopped being funny and he just kept looking at his fucking legal pad. I'm not saying he wasn't funny. I think he was still funny, but he would just fucking talk about what they were. He just became obsessed with his fucking legal case. Um, who the fuck am I to say Lenny Bruce wasn't funny? I'm sorry. I'm out of sorts today. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's because of that guy I can fucking sit here and do everything that I do at a way much lower level. Saying cunt every other word. My apologies. All right. To his estate, anybody else who's still alive, however the fuck that works. Um, All right. That's it. I'm done. I'm done bitching. I bitched a lot. 